Every day, I thank the gods for what I've been given, but I fear that at some point the gods' blessings may not fall to me. I have seen their love and blessings through my reign, but I have also seen their cruelty. Even my father, whose blood ran thick with Apollo's, was murdered here on earth. Each week, there grows restlessness in our outermost provinces, locals refusing to pay my war taxes. Anger abounds, and if it oversteps to rioting and rebellion, I must relent. I was supposed to liberate these people, not force them to live in squalor and contempt. Oh gods, the burdens of your blessings are heavy. Each step my army takes, I hear the cries of the mothers whose sons have died ringing through my ears. Every city we sack, I see the pain of the slave etched on faces, and it brands me with shame. And every report I read of taxes fills me with fear of the father who cannot feed his young. All this racks my body like stormy waves on a soft shore. There is no peace in me anymore. When my father became careless, I judged him to have become weak. Imagine that. A man so strong, so fearless and powerful, judged as weak by his own son. But now I see. The burdens he carried were heavier than the boulder of Sisyphus. And now it is my turn to push it up the hill. But father, I must make you proud. I must carry on, lest the boulder become too heavy and crush me under its mighty weight. And when I've pushed the boulder to the top of the hill, it is time to let it roll. Roll straight to Ptolemy as we march through his lands and make yet more cities our own. My boulder may be large, but I will make his the size of a titan. And when we conquer his land, I will watch him crumble under its weight like the mewling infant he is. And in that moment, all my burdens will be lifted. And once more, I will feel peace, happiness and warmth. And I can come to you, Father, with Apollo's light on my face. But first, we must march and conquer. All the while my boulder grows heavier. I pray, for the sake of you, Father, that my boulder doesn't crush me first. Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Seleucid Empire campaign in RTR Imperium Selection version 0.5. And it went really well last episode. So I'm waiting for something horrendous to happen this episode, <laughs> maybe like a full stack of Ptolemy elephants to come along, um, or something like that, just to ruin ruin the playthrough so far. But we did pretty well. We took um, Miletos Mylasa, uh, we took uh, Ptolemaeus Fornike, and Tyre as well. Tyra. Uh, and we are sieging down Gadara and this settlement, Halicarnassus, down here. Would like to take the islands just because of the sea trade, uh, but we don't actually have a boat down here. Um, now, next turn, we're going to focus on, of course, priority-wise in terms of building, guys, is always uh, civil disorder. So, sorting out the civil disorder, but if we have any money left, we've got a load of cities that need upgrading right now. Mainly towns that need to upgrade to large towns. So, as soon as we can, we will get that. It costs 1,600, um, so we will try and do that as quick as possible. Where are you going? You're going all the way to Iconian. Cool. It didn't... It looked like you actually made that worse, bro. Did you make it worse? I don't know. 58% is not great, though. But anyway, guys, we're at the end of the turn. Our eastern borders are secure-ish. Like, I don't really know how secure they are. But I quite like to... Put a watchtower on our actual border here. Is the river our border though, or is it not? Or is the border north of the river? No, it's definitely north of the river. I would like some watchtowers just to see Parthia, because this is where Parthia starts at Nisa, and we are at war with them. Uh, so they are quite close to being able to just come and take the all these cities. 
Uh, but here is like where we want to protect because there's a lot of cities in a small area. Up here, I'm honestly not really bothered. Like, <laughs> these places, how much money? 354, 700, 600. Like, 1,400 for... And really? Wow. We have a hoplite here that could do with getting rid of. 500 for that. They're really not money-making places, so... Okay, there's the... Uh, I don't know that... Uh, the border not quite we want to build it on the border not like in this middle section but anyway um let us end the turn and see what happens actually no before we do that guys we are in episode five so let's uh, see how our ranking uh equates to say the top five factions which is rome carthage antigonids us and ptolemies anyone else no, this is a blue one now. Is that the an that's the Antigonids? Carthage? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So military ranking. We have gone down, of course, from the start because we deleted so many units. We went up a bit and now we're going down again. That's because of battles. But we are a bit better than the Ptolemies. And of course, a lot of that for them, as well as us, is garrisons. Maybe less for them than us because they have less settlements. I believe they start with about 50. Um, which is pretty good, pretty big. Carthage and Rome are just going away. They they need to fight each other, and then they'll be going down. Um, and the Antigonids are pretty high for such a small-ish nation, of course. We are production going zigzagging kind of down. Egypt went hugely down, and now they've gone hugely back up again. But that's not a huge worry. Of course, territorially, we are going up. We're nearly on 100 we went down, of course, at the start because we let some rebel. Financially, financially, yeah, that's us, isn't it? Financially, we're pretty bad. Financially, the, the top five is completely different. Athens and stuff is in here. So, yeah, financially, we're, we're not great. Population-wise, we're going up, which is fantastic. Overall, we're doing okay. So, it's nice to see anyway. And let's uh, click that end turn button. Ah, uh, we've got more troops coming down. That's good. Ah, oh, yes. Glorious. 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 Fantastic. I'm pretty happy with how we're going so far. Um, we've got plenty uh, plenty to do. Plenty to do. But Ptolemies, of course, is our main target. If Cappadocia comes ravaging our places, we're going to have to do something drastic about that. That'll probably be getting the generals together again to try and beat them back. You're a 24. You're a named character again. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, we'll take you. I know we're trying to save money, but... Uh, well, let's go find him. You're in Seleucia as well. So, where can we send you? I'll send you to Nippur. There you are. Go and enjoy yourself. You actually made them more unhappy. That doesn't really matter. You got two influence. How did that happen? Okay, Pergamon and Ptolemies have agreed a truce. That's not really ideal. And you didn't take Mytilene. How embarrassing. Really? How rich is Pergamon? Because I could just jump on it. Faction announcements. Marriage celebrations. That's fine. So Damascus, we're getting these guys. So we might as well bring you in as far forward as we can. Traleus, we're getting these guys as well. So, yeah, we've got Halicarnassus. Lots of building, lots of sewers and shrines to the hero, eh? It's predominantly what we're building right now. <laughs> um, so let's, uh, let's have a look at where needs upgrading. And I'll try and remember a few. We didn't have civil disorder that turn, I've just realized. So, Hermia and Katayon do. But I think it's more important to get these ones close. So, Uruk, Dura, and Nikaforion. And then also, I think Harmosia will go for. Harmosia. Build that. And then Uruk. Uh, you're not Uruk. You're Uruk. It costs so much to upgrade these places, though. We can get two upgrades in. Was it you as well? Yeah, it was. Let's go for that. Because these ones are, are closer, 
They're just better for money. Because they have less corruption. I mean, that's a lot of corruption still. You're literally only there. Oh my god, what is the corruption over here then? Is there a max amount of corruption you can have? Is 100% corruption enough? Like, the max? I mean, over here, it doesn't look as bad, but there probably is more law in that town. So let's go for getting another... Okay, they got the Libyan Phalangites again. Aristolaos. Laos. Aristolaos of Halicarnassus. Hmm. we we'll use the Thracians if we can again. I don't have any missile troops. Which is slightly upsetting. But again, we'll try and use Antiochus and Achilos as much as we can. Um, and the Javis of the Theroporoi and the Thracians as much as we can as well. Um, so let's get into our first battle of the episode, guys. The battle for Halicarnassus. Fantastic. I will see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Last, something appealing. Something, something appalling. Why is it appalling? Many oh, okay, yeah, many of us will die. <laughs> Very good. Um, and you know what? Who are we sending over? I think Thracians again. I'm going to leave you here. I don't get the... Uh... So, oh, these siege towers have missiles coming off them, do they? Because you're a Hoplite unit, you should not have missiles. We still haven't put our Agorospides in a battle yet, but that's because they are very good. And we are, they're like our old guard, guys. We, we are saving them for the last minute. And hopefully they don't rout like uh, the Battle of Waterloo, but <laughs> we are saving them. You guys, in with your fire at will. Well, we can all go here, can't we? Um, and then the Chalka Speeders. That Chalka Speeders has two experience now, which is fantastic. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but experience really helps. And Antiochus with his silver experience. Look at that. Three extra defense, three ex four extra attack. What a beast. That's so good. That means, yeah, when they get experience, they just become obscenely good. Um, do you know what? Let's go. We might as well take the siege tower as well. Hopefully it doesn't burn down. So getting to the town square this way. So let's go. Get up, my boys. I just want you to take that so that starts firing at those Libyan phalangites. Because those Libyan phalangites are tough, bro. They are strong. Fire at them. Get through. Great gods. Keep those things firing. The oh, they can do that. Let's uh, us come around here. Oh, wait. Just stay here. Just stay here and we'll fire on them if they come back. If they want to come back, got our javis ready to go, boys. That would be fantastic. Uh, is this one taken? No. We'll just dip through there. Now dip through that way. Uh, and I want you to come all the way around here, because we're going to flank them, of course. So just come all the way around that way, just in case. Have you fired your javis yet? Come on, boys. Javis or no javis? Javis? <laughs> okay, they've gone all the way around there now. They've done what they needed to do. Let's get you uh, back there. So, of course, General, I'm going to get you in. That's taken, right? Yeah. Oh, the, the Hoplites are still getting off the siege tower. Come on, boys. You can meet. You can get there. You can get there. Uh, we've got you guys. So, we want the Theroporoi, of course, in. We also would like both Chalka Speeders. And it seems a bit overkill. But it's going to be worth it. I just wish I had some missile troops right now. I want to kill that general. What's this? Greek Peltasts. Oh. Just a Greek Peltast. We just really need to, to get them off the town square. 
That's the biggest problem. Um, I don't know, I think we'll send you around there. You guys can get down now. This way we'll flank them fully. However which way they want to do things, we'll flank them. So, you guys, I mean, ideally, if we could get th there. I think the general might charge us pre that, though. So, this would be an ideal formation, but we might not get to get to that point. Thracians as well, I'll bring you down. Look at them all just sat on the town square. Never ideal. Never ideal. And get the hoplites to like here. And then we'll get our general up there. Just squish yourselves in, boys. I don't really care. Okay, people moving. They are. Just a Peltas, though. Peltas are gonna be annoying firing at our boys. Okay, if the general comes. Okay, they're firing now. It's a bit annoying, but. What can you do? Um, if they all just stand on the square, that's going to be very annoying. Like, really, really annoying. Okay, no, they come, they come. That's good. Come on, come on, attack us. Attack us, boys. Alright, now it's time to go. Now you can fire your javis at the general. I really can't... I'm not too bothered by those Libyan phalangites right now. I kind of just want to squish his general. So we kill him. Yeah, right. Now we'll lead them off. If we can lead them off the town square... That'd be fantastic. Okay, I was going to say, thought he was going to say our general was dead then. Now get closer. Just need to lead them off. So what I might do is charge them and then try and run away. If that works. Now out. Going to lose a few men doing that. Nope, they don't seem to want to charge to uh, follow us, do they? Come on, follow us. Okay, I guess not then. Gonna bring these Theroperoi forward one at a time. To just fire at them. Should be able to fire now, surely. Get out, get out, get out, boys. They don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it. Uh, General, probably not stand there would be good. Ah, oh, no. You guys, sorry. You guys get there. Speed this up a little bit. I'm just being as careful as I can, guys. I know it seems overkill, but we might as well use all our assets that we have uh, at our disposal. Yeah, it's done nothing. <laughs> Did nothing. But oh well. Kind of, I want to get my phalangites in, but I don't want the same thing to happen to them what happened last time, where they went mental and went the wrong way. I think the Thracians need to go in first. Okay, come forward a bit. There you go. Should be able to fire now, boys. <gasps> Please, yes! Oh, happy day. Let's go. Let's get them routing. They're off the town square. They're a very good unit. But I'm, I'm hoping we can route them. If the uh, Thracians... Oh, we can't do our... Uh... Come on. Surround them. Thracians are taking all the damage right now, which is great. Because they're a mercenary unit. It doesn't matter. We can't retrain them. Come on. Yes. Get them routing. And we've got the... Yeah, fantastic. We had the town square anyway, apparently. Worthy of Greek 
Stop. Everyone doing pretty well. Well done, guys. Well done. Everyone just taking a little nibble. A little nibble uh, out of each unit. Um, but I know it seems overkill doing that much micromanaging and not just going full into the town square and trying to kill them. But remember, that, guys, we don't have the economy right now to be recruiting armies. So trying to conserve as much of each army as possible is absolutely key right now. We don't have the money or the recruitment hubs to be recruiting big armies right now. So it's really key that we keep them um, keep them safe and keep as many troops as we can in each battle. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Victory! Here we are, guys. And again, it's close to actually uh, upgrading. Um, it is Greek. Fantastic. But I think it's, it's classic. We'll enslave. And we'll delete that for the extra cash. Well, and also because we need to. Uh, and then let's go Shrine to Hera. We can take this one. So... Hmm. That can reach there. Let's come out. You're on low. Oh, you're already on 42 low. That's pretty good. Get you on 77% there. I, w I hope we can... Uh, we should be able to reach this if we go with the cavalry first. There we are. And then we join the army. I think if we'd just done the army, we might have been just slightly away from it. Nidos is a large town as well. Great, and it's got a port. All these places are going to bring us so much more money when we get uh, once they've taken the port, because their trade's going to go up. You can see right now, yeah, they've just started trading. Oh, it was, uh, I think that's yeah. It's uh, why is it trading here? We're not trading with the Ptolemies. Oh no, it's just going through that way. Okay, cool. To Rhodes, I think. More towns have expanded. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to upgrade. I'll upgrade Articana. Taking the Wonder, of course. Fantastic. Uh, and then... Gadara. Right, Gadara. Gadara is going to be a tough nut to crack. But... I think we're still going to do well. We've got... Yeah, Peltas and Slingers. Where are you along your journey? You're coming along. That's all right. If we need to, we can kind of take one out of here, there. What is Gadara in terms of... Okay, so Gadara is Judean. Judean culture. So that's actually going to be a hard one to keep. You're Greek. You're Judean as well. Okay, another army. Great. We might have a field battle soon as well. Fantastic. Uh, was I not recruiting you boys in Tarsos? I think that big army's gone north, you know. I mean, I hope so. Are they at war with the Galatians or something? Let's have a look. Uh, diplomatic standing. Enemies, Cappadocia. Oh, I can't press on that and it goes to it, really? Uh, what does Cappadocia look like? It looks like that. They are right at the bottom. Uh, no, they're just at war with us, so I don't know. Maybe they are going to attack the Galatians, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll take that one. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, Kaunos. It's uh, an Antigonid place. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I think we should recruit a ship down here. How much do they cost? 1,200... Hmm, expensive, but probably worth it. Ah, we've got loads of diplomats here. I totally in league, my friends. Trade rights, yep. And I will proportion. sell you my map information for, how about 3,000? Demanding, really. They've definitely made some uh, adjustments to this, because in vanilla, that would definitely take... Most okay, they accept proportion. that, that's good. Who else was there? 
Epirus. Trade rights, my friend. A most generous cool. proposal. Map information for sorry, 1,500 again. Regretfully, okay. we must decline. Uh, generally, after they've done the first one, they won't accept another one. Regretfully, yeah. we must so decline. So let's come down. Let's see whether we can find anyone else. That's a rebel still. Really? No one's taken that yet. Yes, my lord. Uh, the Boeotian League. Let's go talk to them. They're allied with the Antigonids, so... Having more alliances is basically... See no okay, just us. trade rights then, my friend. A most generous proportion. Uh, map information for, like, 1,500. A most generous proportion. Oh, okay, proposal. good. They've taken that. Yes. Hook, line, and sinker. Um, so, did I upgrade Tagai? No. And let's uh, find all the places that need upgrading again. If it, if it loads, come on. <laughs> it's just such a big map. So, that one. And then these two in the middle again. We'll go to that one first. Upgrade. And then let's get down. I think it's these two, right? Uh, we can't build it anyway. It's these two next to each other. So, we can do that next turn. Um, but uh, do I take Gadara now? Or wait for a potential... Do you know what? I I'd love... I'd absolutely love a bridge battle. A field battle. So we'll wait a turn. We'll wait a turn. And if they don't attack, we'll attack next turn. It, it brings down their... Um, their garrison anyway. It's, it's fine. Cool. Cool, cool. I think we're good. Let's uh, end the turn then. Lots of inactive settlements, I know. Where was that guy going? Oh, that was our guy in the far north to build watchtowers. I think we'll just build one. Just to kind of cover off all bases. But the one thing with Parthia is if their army's not in their city, their city doesn't have walls. <laughs> um, I could go for a little sneak peek. I could go for a little sneak peek, couldn't I? Oh, do you know what I might? I might. It's very risky. Also, the fact that maybe uh, they don't have um, Andragoras. Let's, uh, let's find where you are. You're in Seleucia as well. We've got lots of sons adopted in Seleucia right now. Um, another town has grown. Oh, Babylon. Ah, that's definitely something we want to invest in straight away. Uh, but yeah... Let's take you, Dragoras. Where should we send you? Uruk? Yeah, we'll send you to Uruk. Uruk makes 2,000. That's pretty good. I'll send you that. Um, so, their settlement is there. Where's the uh, border? Let's build a watchtower. I know it costs 1,000. But it will give us a bit of vision up here. And you know what? What have they got? They've got, they've got some faction leader guys. I'm here. I am willing, honestly. If that is there, so that's their capital. Let's have a look at the uh, faction rankings. Let's go for Parthia, and I want to see territory, please. That to me looks like it's gone up, so they might have two. But if I could snipe Nisa, destroy all the buildings, they won't have anywhere to recruit. Oh, that'd be so good because oh, they've declared war on each other again. Thank you, Pergamon. You're a, you are a boy. You really are a boy. Um, I'm kind of want to put that down now so that Seleucia can upgrade. Uh, when we start getting uh, around twenty thousand a turn, I'll return everyone back to low tax rate, um, and then it'll probably take us back down to about ten thousand. But that's that's good enough a turn. So we have Gadara. Oh, hello. That's a bit of a bigger army now, isn't it? But we could... Instead of going for Gadara, we could get rid of it and go straight for a battle with them. Oh, that's, And it's a field battle as well. And we've done a lot of sieges, haven't we, so far? 
And what? Who's in there? Theroperoi and stuff. We will have to do that battle just because it's got the Theroperoi in. They've got loads of ships. I think second thing then, let's buy a Byream. So that we can take these, like, sort of islands here. And potentially go for roads. Let's have a look at their diplomatic standing. Uh, what does Rhodes look like in terms of its banner? I think it's like light reddish. Uh, yeah, there we are. That okay? Rhodes has no allies, just one enemy. But they might have a load of people. They'll have a they'll have an army on here. Just because they've got one person in the settlement doesn't mean they're weak. They will definitely have an army. And then over here, yeah, we'll do that. First things first, so let's build in a couple of places. Uh, and is there anywhere we can build something? Oh, Seleucia can upgrade. So I think we save our money in order to do that. But let's go for this battle. Are we strong enough to do the battle, though? That is the question. I mean, they have mercenary Asian light spam in there. Gonna... Yes. I should have... Oh, I should have kept that guy on the siege there. But oh well. Um, I mean, it's... Yeah, they don't look like they've got a lot. And then in here... Oh, they got some Thorakitai. Could get a mercenary. There is no mercenaries. So, what do they have? Judean spearmen, Asian light spearmen, Syrian archers, skirmishers, Akon... I mean, a lot of it is missile... Oh, oh my god. It's pretty much all missile compared to us who have a lot less. So our cavalry's really gonna have to go ham in. I mean, I fought a night battle. They, they go, these guys wouldn't come in. Captain Pyrrhus, good name. Uh, hmm. Problem is, those those missile troops are just going to be wreaking havoc. But anyway, let's fight the battle, and I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Lads, time to be a better business. Pull your armor on, shoulder your shields, and mark all commands. Our foes are gathered. Yep, they are, and whew, it's going to be tougher than I think. Uh, than I think it. Could be. Do you know what? I think they are going to think they're stronger. So they might come. They might come deciding to uh, to fight us. I'm going to keep you on the flank. Um, I kind of want to keep all the cavalry together. I know the Prodromoi. Where are these guys? Are these guys? They're decent reinforcements as well. They're going to want to try and uh, join together. Hmm. I, I don't want to be fighting them up that hill. I mean, <laughs> it's not great, is it? Fighting up a massive hill. I swear, I swear, I never get a hill. Why does the AI always get the fucking hill, bro? If you watched my Sparta campaign in the last few episodes, I was just wanting a hill the whole time. I think we got it once in about 20 battles. We got a hill. The AI always got the hill. Um, so I think we go around this way. Don't run, though. Just walk. Go, and we'll get you boys. We've got to kill his general as well. Wait, he can only bring... Where's his other unit? Oh, it's stuck behind a rock. Fantastic. It's good for us, that. We've got to meet them on level ground. I also do want both of their units from the city in so that we can take the city at the same time. Yeah, they're coming. They're going to knacker themselves out, though. Yeah, speed it up. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. That Matroi 4, I surely they're going to get tired. Same as these guys. Do we have any new units that we've not seen before? Oh, they got two mercs. Uh, they got Prodromoi and an Asian cavalry. Oh, gonna have to be so careful with our cavalry then. 
Can't just go normal ham tactic. Judean Spearman. I mean, the problem is fighting all these missile troops. The one issue as well is if this army survives, they might re retreat to the city. Uh, risky, risky moves there I've done. Very risky. Maybe shouldn't have gone so risky and just taken Ch Chandra or whatever it's called. Kind of want to come to like here. Don't run though. It's there. Don't run. Uh, cavalry can stay down the hill. Don't run though. Now where are they going? They're not really moving too much. That's good for us. They feel safe on top of their hill, but... Don't worry, we'll... We will push them off the hilltop. I'm not... I wasn't going to march directly up the hill at them, though. That would have been stupid. Okay, it's probably time for us to run. As soon as they're getting into position. Let's go, boys. Ah, you're still in phalanx, are you? Go. Get you there. Right, us guys. Are you guys on fire at will? You are. Let's go then. Let's get forward. We need to push them. It's really our option, our only option right now. Those your day and spearmen. Get there. Now get in phalanx. Go. I know we're going to get hit by a lot of Javis. But hopefully we can catch a few of the units. Okay. We need to bog him down as well. If we can get his general, that would be fantastic. Surround him. Uh, our guys here. Let's bring you up. You guys come forward. Kill that general. You guys get in there. Oh, you guys stay there. Kill the skirmishers. Uh, cavalry, I need to group you. Um thinking where shall we go well we'll get Antiochus you can come around this way then attack these guys in the back the Prodromoy are more sort of wanting to if you could get through that gap that would be fantastic just get rid of these skirmishes while we can got a lot of units in there but it's, it's all for a good cause get into the back now get them if we can route any of these guys, that would be fantastic. It is just Prodromoy. Oh, instantly route those guys. Let's go kill that Ekantistai. Got to be careful of this unit behind, though. And this Thorakitai. Oh, Matroy Fort. Wait, he's, he's going. He's going. And he's dead. Okay, this is better. This is good. It's what we like to see. Get those guys. Kill that Matroi Foroi. I want to kill all of them. I want you to chase those guys. Antiochus, where are you? Oh, you have got them. Let's get you guys down here. Antiochus, you can go there. You guys. Yeah, kind of switch around. Switch around. Switch around. Let's go. Where's our Prodromoi? Are they still happy? Yeah, kill them all. Oh, quick, quick, quick turn. Kill their Prodromoi. Which is... How many have they got? 30. So we should do better. Uh, yep. Yeah. Kill them all. Kill them all. You guys come through. Uh, Antiochus is there. Let's rally our boys. How are we doing? Well, let's uh, get the Theroperoi to attack those guys in the front. And then you two units, let's come around the side. 
Prodromoy, my friend, go kill those. You go kill them. Uh, in fact, you go and help them. It's tough battle. Uh, there's that Prodromoy should run away, yeah. Tyacus, go. Now we just need to kill as many as we can. Are you withdrawing? Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Let's get them. How tired? They're only winded, though. You need to kill... Oh, God. You need to get into the back of those guys. Uh, you also need to just go chase them. You go chase them. Quickly. It's going to have to be quick. Because this Prodromoy is not going to last too long just by itself. Not going to last too long by itself. Come on, Antiochus. Let's go. Kill, kill, kill. Now turn. Let's get out. Just want to hold them for a little while. Come on, boys. Come on. We need to kill that whole unit. Need to kill that whole unit. Right. You boys. Let's go. You guys go chase them down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kill them. Just get right in front of them. I just want to stop them running. They're really close to the edge now. Yeah, they're going to go into their phalanx. Yes. Good. Managed to hem them in. There, charge. Uh, continue. We need to kill them all. Don't fire. Kill these guys. Let's go. Kill them. Kill them. Yes. Okay, this one had a hundred left. Is that enough to have fully destroyed it? I don't know, but it's going to be close. It needs to be less than 15%. And it's... Oh, it's really close. I don't know. How did we do, anyway? Everyone did pretty well. The Prodromoy coming in ham, boys. Coming in ham. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Victory! Here we are. Oh, yes. And we did take it. Fantastic. Uh, yes, very good. Let's, um, let's enslave here as well. This one we do want to leave some troops. Okay, I can't really siege that down just with that one troop because they'll sally out. Uh, hmm, hmm, it's, it's a, it's a tight one, it's close. Uh, I don't know what to do there because we've... I mean, it got rid of that army. That was the main thing, right? We did a decent job of that. If we leave 28 Prodromoy in there, 60%. That's quite good. Did we get an extra one here? We did. Can you get to there? You can. Yeah, we'll take the Prodromoy with us then. All right, now we uh, come back. Let's siege that down. Kill that. Fantastic. We're still coming with the Akontistai. So let's keep going. Oh, glorious. Feel good, feel good, feel good. Slowly but surely ravaging. Ravaging them. Now, we're probably going to have cultural issues here. But for now, it's fine because we're not converting it to Greek. We will later on. Let's go for those sewers. Uh, then what else do we want to build? Is there anywhere? Oh, there was these two places over here. Can we build both of the upgrades? Not quite sure. Yeah, we can. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. We haven't had any civil unrest for a couple of turns. And then next turn, when we get our money, uh, we will upgrade Seleucia. To become a large city, which will be fantastic. Yes! 
Oh, glorious. Oh, happy day. Fantastic. So I'm pretty sure this is rebel and not uh, not Egyptian. This place is Egyptian. So I'm thinking they've got like settlements all the way along here. But we're just going to go from settlement to settlement. Anyway, let's end the turn. Ah, I forgot about my uh, guys. Let's talk to Athens. Wait, they're enemies with the toll. Oh no, that's me. <laughs> Trade rights with Athens, of course. Map information for like 1,500, bro. Balance. A most generous. What about alliance? We see no benefit okay. to us. No one really wants an alliance with us at, uh, at the minute. Yes, that's fine. So we'll have two people down here to talk to. Sparta's definitely one. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. We really do need to start putting our, uh, uh, building, sorry, our taxes down slightly. It's, it's really hampering our growth. Let's go for that farming, we might as well. Let's end the turn then. Actually, properly this time. <laughs> Uh, we need a boat to get to those islands. Just one problem is if we get blockaded on the island would be horrendous. Um, which is definite possibility with the amount of Egyptian ships everywhere. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's try not to get uh, to get smashed and blockaded. Let's absolutely smash them. Now, with an the Antigonids right next to us, they might declare war on us. He's a social drinker. Where are you? Let's have a look. Is he in Seleucia again? Oh no, it's Atricata. Interesting. Oh yeah, we were going to see whether we could uh, snipe Nisa. We need some good troops for that though. Uh, it would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Imagine if it was their only settlement, but it looks like they do have two. But then that could make them into a horde. Let's go for that. Uh, Syracuse and Carthage are at war. Pergamon and Ptolemies have a ceasefire again. Oh, Antioch, we got this. Now, what does that allow us? That allows us Zistaphoroi. Okay, not elephants, though, yet. Um, how much corruption's over here? If I did that, that's 100 a turn. For something that costs 1600 so, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty good building. So, we've built that. Let's just keep building around here then. Market's probably not exactly what we want. I'll go for the public... Uh, no, sorry, that's Seleucia. But over here. Inland Trade Center over here. I mean, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's something... I think the, the farming's what really what we want to go for. Where we can. Build a sewer there as well. Um, and then we have Gadara. And we have this one as well. Let's see what they have in there. Okay. Nidos. I'm tempted to auto resolve that again. I don't want it to just kill like a hundred troops or something. But it'll take so long. 30, okay, that's acceptable. I was gonna say, it just takes so long to do a siege battle just with two units inside the inside the settlement. It's not really worth it. Let's build Shrine Tahira and also we're still recruiting Akontistai over here. Do we have an Akontistai that could reach? No. Uh, well, what happens if we take all you boys out? Do you get slightly upset? Okay, they're blockading the place where we built our ship. That's the, that's the annoying thing. Are they going to be happy anyway without the Akontistai, so... Right. So... Where's the borders here? Oh, it's a tiny little border. Does look like the Ptolemies have a land over here, though. I'm sorry, Macedon. I've got to come. And take Telemessos. 
Looks like they... It looks like it might just be two regions here? Or is it more? Well, if it is, then we can focus on the islands and probably take roads as well. That'd be fantastic. Um, yeah. Then down here, let's go for Gadara. Let's go take Gadara. Uh, yeah. Yep, let's go. Come on, boys. We are on an absolute freight train of conquest right now. I love it. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. Here we are. <laughs> Lovely. Fantastic. Battle! Let's go. And I think... Go for a siege tower there. And... So they might have people on the walls, so we've got to remember that. Uh, you guys will drop. And we'll get... One of you guys. Who's taking that, by the way? It's, it's one of you. That's fine. Fire at will as well. Can you pick them up, please? First of all, let's see where they are. Okay, yeah, they have come onto the walls. Slingers and archers. Yeah. Get away. Get away, quick. Um, how are we going to take this city is another question. You're still on the ladder, just in case. Okay, they might burn down that. If they do, that would be slightly annoying. Come on. Quick. Quick. <gasps> yes, okay, good. Got Peltas, the general. Theroporoi. Zistaphoroi, decent unit. Um, so, I mean, we have plenty of troops. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. I just don't want to lose too many. I should probably merge a few of these and send them home for retraining as well at some point. Or start thinking about building a recruitment hub down here. But, yeah, I, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Once you're through, we'll go straight for those Greek archers. Start taking them out. We should absolutely destroy them. Um, what we'll do, send you guys over here. We'll also send you guys. Hopefully you're not in range of the towers. Don't think they will be. Are you in? We need to come through. I don't know whether this gateway will become ours or not. I think we need to push them back, back from that. Oh, it has. Good, it should be firing at them now then. Uh, right, you guys up there. Slingers up there as well. Let's go. And once you're up, we'll get you uh, around this way to start getting the towers to fire at the enemy. Come on, it's going to take you forever. Come on, boys. Get that way, and they'll start running even though it's only like a little one of them. What is that? That's Theroporoi. Yep, get firing at the Theroporoi, my boys. And then once you are there, you can come back here. And when the slingers are up, that'll take forever, but they should come up soon. Let's go fight the Greek slingers. Come on, boys, let's go. Now fight. Come on, boys. Fight them. Should kill them quite easily. Yep, good. Right then, you should come off that, and then let's get our boys forward, we need you as well, you're definitely going to be useful, bring you in, we got this Akantistai, don't really need them yet though, this is a pretty good spot for us to be firing into the enemy. <laughs> You guys come across. You've not even fired a single jabber yet. What's this? They're burning? How are they burning? What happened there? Is that their own troops or something? From the siege tower, maybe? Nah, no, we killed them. Good. Let's uh, just come around this way a little bit. 
So it's just straight to the town square. That's fantastic. Gonna get you guys in there if we can. Now just normal speed. We'll get you all the damaged units. You're gonna come around this way. Gonna send you in, my friend. Antiochus again. The other Antiochus. You son or not? I'm not sure. Can we take that one yet? No. Just take that one just in case. Right, speed everything up again. That should be more than enough to take what we need to take. Right then. Greek, is that all you've got in the set city centre? Just the Peltas. Also got the Theroporoi over there. So you guys... Let's go face that Theroporoi, I'd say. I kind of want to want to flank you, though. So if we go here, and then we'll have you here. And then... What are these guys? These guys are Theroporoi. You can come around there. Get our Akon... Uh, sorry, our Chalka Speeders into there. Wait, can you go down this way? Well, apparently you can go that way. Send you this way as well. I think that's everyone. What about you guys? We'll bring you in. Hopefully you won't have to do much. We'll also bring down you guys. And you guys. Go there. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Now, I'm just worried they're going to go down that way. Please don't go down that way. Okay, they are... Oh, how annoying. Okay, if that... Is that the Peltas? If they're all going to charge us, that'd be fantastic. Please do. Here comes the cavalry. Come on, kill them. Well, what we're going to do then is... Send you after them. Yeah, come around that way. If you can. Come on, boys. Let's go. Get you guys through that way. You can kind of do a little flanking maneuver. Chalka Speed is still holding out. They have been invaluable so far. They've been very strong. You guys come that way. Come on, let's go. I don't know where you're going right now. I think you're trying to join with the rest of your unit, but it's coming. It's coming, boys. It's coming. Yeah, they're going to be a bit messed out, I think, for the rest of the session. The rest of the siege. Have you guys fired yet? Come here. And hopefully you can fire on those uh, Greek Peltas. Oh, you should be on fire at will. Here come the Peltasts. Kill them. Let's go. Uh, I mean, you guys can go and fight that Theroporoi if you want. I mean, you're going to get killed, but it's okay. Uh, we'll send you there. And then this Theroporoi. We need one of you to be firing your missiles still. So we'll come down here. If we can... It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. Should be able to fire your jabbies, though. I'm hoping. And then you guys. It's a bit of a more messy battle than normal, but it's okay. Okay, that's their general dead. Fight the Theroporoi. It's going to be a grind fest on the city center again. But it's okay. Where are you guys? You guys come here. You're not doing what I want you to do, are you? Uh, fire at the Theroporoi if you can. And you guys should be able to fire at them as well. Now we can charge them. We've only got 11 left. Okay, we've done decent there. I don't think we lost many. 10% it says. This unit took the most, the biggest brunt of it. Got 
they're, they're tougher than you think. Look, they're exhausted still, and they're, they're hardly losing anyone. <laughs> Just run through them. Now you can kind of, like, flank them. Kind of. Not really. Didn't work, did it? But oh well. I mean, we killed a lot more than we lost, so well done. Hoplite, that Greek Hoplites... 143, bro. That is fantastic. Really good. Well done. Well done. Happy with everyone there. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Victory. Gadara. Let us enslave as well. This one's going to be slightly harder to get hold of. Uh, to keep hold of, I think. So what I'm going to do is merge a few of these boys. And I think so you two are going to go back for retraining. Oh, wait, we have more. Merge you as well. So you, you, and you. One of you is a lot slower than the other. This one. Oh, well. All three of you. I'm going to go all the way back to Antioch. It's going to take a while, as we can see, for retraining, but it's necessary. So our army gets smaller. If we absolutely have to, we can build um, we can get some mercenaries, although not many mercenaries are available right now. And we're going to go for Philadelphia. Yep. Ooh. They've got Agama in there. Ooh. It's not ideal, that. That's not what we want to fight. Um, they're going to be a really hard unit to crack. And then we have Iopi down here. Iopi? Yoppy, 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 yop. We got yoppy, yop down here. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, take that next turn, next uh, episode as well, hopefully. As well as Philadelphia. I mean, I'm very happy with the progress we're making currently, guys. I don't want to take any of that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, really happy because... So, we started out with Sidon as our southernmost, right? No, we didn't. We started out with Byblos. Yeah, Byblos. So, like, even if the worst-case scenario happened, this army, for example, got absolutely savaged and destroyed, and I needed to send it all the way back for retraining, they would only, like, the, the, the speed that AI moves at it would probably take them like 20 turns to take these four cities. Just the way they move and, and how they like to engage in sieges. So, like, us pushing this hard forward is, is fantastic. Because it, it gets us cities, yeah. It gets us money. It buys us time. Um, but yeah, it buys us a huge amount of time if they just come out of the woodwork with like four full stacks. We'll have enough time to go back, retrain, get a new army. And come down south again. Now, where that big army has gone for the uh, Cappadocians, I have no idea. And it scares me quite a bit to, not, to know that they are around somewhere. <laughs> uh, but I think we should recruit one of you over there. And then this army... Are we still recruiting the Acontisti over here? I think we need to still recruit a couple. So we're going to have a couple more cities over this way. Then we're also going to take these islands if we can get our boat out. Which looks very unlikely of happening right now. But with that 2,000, have we got anything else we want to build? Bertha is building. What about Arapa? Uh, we'll take the roads. I mean, there's no point not to, is there? Trying to build closer to our home regions. Our oh, Bella, what about down here? Let's go for Shrine to Taiki down here for that extra trade income. It's not a huge amount right now, but it will become a huge amount soon. Uh, same with Seleucia Hydaiphon. Hydaiphon. Anyway, we'll end the turn, guys. That's probably going to be and do all the management we need to do. If I can uh, remember to. Yeah, you're re rebel as well. Olympia? Oh, no. Achaean League. We need to go talk to you. So we'll go talk to you first. Oh, you're not even in... You're still going towards Nisa. Oh, God, no. I keep forgetting about you. 
It'd be ideal if Parthia lost the settlement and then we could take Nisa in one turn and then they're just dead. But I don't think they'd be dead, would they? I think they'd become a horde and that's not great for us. I really don't want them to become a horde. Ideally, I want, I want peace with them, but... I mean, them becoming a horde is even worse than being at war with them. <laughs> like, it's, it's not good. 25-year-old <laughs> true Greek... Yeah, we'll take you. And where are you? Okay, we've got some rioting. You're at there, Prothasphasia. Alexandria Ariane makes some money, so I will take you and put you in there. I think that's going to be fine. Where is the rioting? Piscinus. Interesting. Oh, you suddenly got very unhappy. Why is that? Culture penalty, distance to capital. 57. 57 is really not good. No one died in the disaster, though, apparently. Okay, Ptolemy's are back at war with Pergamon. Massilia are at war with Carthage. Well done, Carthage. You're finally taking out your weak neighbours. Uruk has been upgraded. Fantastic. How much does that bring in? 300. I mean, 10... 11 turns to pay itself back. That's worth it. I think we'll take that. So, if you don't know, guys, these buildings, these elite tax, they provide 500 money, just base. And they are 3,000, but they're kind of there if, in case you absolutely need to. So, I'm trying to just avoid building them. So, I don't really think I need to. Um, and if, if it gets to the point where I absolutely have to, I will. But for now, let's... Uh, Let's leave them out. There's there's no point. Oh, they've just recruited another unit in there as well. Ah. Oh, well. While we're up here as well, is there any units we can recruit? I th Do you know what? We'll, we'll pay for three Zistaphoroi right now so that I don't forget. And uh, we'll take them back with those with those guys when we uh, come back. We'll also attack Telmesos. Uh, do that. We will have to fight that siege. I'm just a bit worried that the Antigonids, because they're next to us, are going to attack us now. Oh, you can't reach there either. But they are happy. They're fine. Hmm. I just need to get rid of these islands as well from the uh, from those guys. We also need to come onto Cyprus. I think there's five cities on Cyprus now, guys. Five, yes, five. A whole five. Um... Rhodes would be a fantastic target to take. Be a bit of a jewel in the crown of money making right now. Now, money wise, again, we're going to focus on our heartland and see what we can build. Alexandria Charax, how much for that? I know it takes a long time. I mean, I think the farming is just better in general. Yes. Good bit of farming there. Also build the farming here. Places that don't have roads as well really need roads. So like here, for example. Like, why do we not have roads? Um, and some of these smaller places up north. Let's build a farming there. And that's kind of it, really. I'm quite happy with how, where we're at. I actually, you know, I am very happy with how we've been doing, guys. It's, it's... Yes, You need to get into Tyana. I am very happy with how we've been doing. And I want to go up to Parnassus and take that. And also destroy Galatia at some point and then turn on Pontus. But we're a long way away from that right now. The uh, Ptolemies are by far our biggest, uh, our biggest sort of rival and enemy that we need to take care of. Because they're huge. They are huge. If we look at their, uh, their ranking, I just want to put them on. Military-wise, they're going down like us. Production, good. Uh, territorially, you see, they're slowly coming down. They've still got over 40 settlements, guys. Over 40. So, <laughs> they've got plenty enough places to be recruiting full stacks from. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. We have uh, taken... How have we taken? We've taken Gadara. We've taken Samaria in a field battle, which is fantastic. We've taken Nidos. And uh, we are marching forth to keep taking more Ptolemaic settlements. 
And hopefully, eventually, we'll have restored Alexander's empire. I mean, we need all of Anatolia first. And we need all of Greece. I mean, all of Greece will be a big challenge, but... For now, beating the uh, Egyptians back is our biggest, biggest uh, challenge right now. You're 24. You're a fantastic general for a 24-year-old. You're very good. You're careless, though. You're very easily to be assassinated. Your personal security is like nothing. But apart from that, you're an excellent, excellent leader. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I should see you again on the next video.